Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can perform the troubleshooting or key teaching or neutralization on immobilizer system on Hyundai and Kia with uh, immobilizer system when you have the key. So obviously you're going to need the scan tool and after finding the car, you see I already selected my car. Uh, you go for finding immobilizer system and after connecting to the immobilizer system all right so you have a couple of options like reading the fault code erasing the fault codes those are obviously obvious for reading any fault codes or erasing after fixing the car if you go to the parameters this one is quite helpful for diagnostics first of all you see you can read how many keys already learned for this car and you see two keys already learned and you can uh, see the uh, engine control module status keys and icu or immobilizer control unit status so this one so when you have learned it means all these options are already learned so you can have different options as well like uh, if you buy a brand new one if your icu is a brand new one and uh, not registered yet uh, is a brand new you will have the virgin so you have to perform the key teaching or if you have them neutralized here instead of learned you have neutral so if you have virgin you have to uh, register the keys if you have neutralized you have to again you have to register the keys as well in, in number of learned keys if you have zero it means uh, actually none of the keys already uh, registered you have to perform the uh, you, ha you have to perform the teaching what is initialization if you go in there this one is actually for initializing uh, the uh, engine control module so you can just neutralize the engine control module sometimes you have another option to neutralize the uh, another control module that normally we call it a smart raw in some Hyundai and Kia instead of uh, immobilizer control module instead of uh, ICU you have another control unit that we call it smart raw so it really depends because on some the pin code is stored inside the ECU engine control module in some of them it's control is in some of them it's stored inside the immobilizer and uh, engine control module so when you have one this one is gonna neutralize the engine control module you, normally we use it uh, before uh, just replacing the ECM from one car to the other one uh, so technically you don't need to do that before uh, teaching the keys the only thing you need is the six six the only thing you need is the six digit pin code that you can get it from the dealerships or from Hyundai and Kia website uh, but you're gonna need the win number just to uh, find the pin code So we already talked about the initialization. The only thing you needed was the six digit pin code. Ignition switch on, you enter the pin codes and that's it. Uh, teaching, let's just talk about the teaching and then I'll get back to the Lim Home mode. Teaching is for teaching the new keys. So the only thing for this one as well, the only thing you need is a six digit pin code. It's very similar to the neutralization. You have, you need exact, very same, uh, six digit pin codes that you had for the neutralization you need to get it from the hyundai kia dealerships or the, or the website and uh, you need to just insert the key you need to insert the key inside the ignition switch cylinder turn it on uh I'm, I'm i mean ignition switch must be on you don't need to start the engine don't crank the engine just engine should be off ignition switch must be on and after uh inputting the six digit pin code you you press enter and that's going to be it and after pressing this one if you need to uh, register the second key system is going to ask you if you need to register the second key you need to remove the first one put the second one turn it to the ignition on position and press ok again and let's have a look at the last one which is lim home mode uh lim home mode as you see here password is not registered 
So uh, for this one, the password should be registered first. And normally we can do that with the original scan tool at the dealerships. If we have the password registered, there's a way to start the car at emergency uh, situation. So uh, it means we can use the key to start the car in emergency situation, but uh, we should have the limb home mode activated or registered. Uh, so if that one is not registered, technically you can't do anything.